Leading with care and support is critical, especially as we think about our teams being dispersed all over the country or the world. But it is possible to make sure that we lead with care, that we engage and retain our people and make them feel a connection between us, even if they're not in the same room. Stay tuned as I discuss with you ways to really build trust and impart to people a desire to build trust with them, even when they're not right near you. Okay, so let's jump in. What might be the differences between leading people in person and leading people remotely? Well, here's what I'm going to say first. No matter what, in order to keep the connection with your people, you got to be with them. If you don't know who they are, anything about them, you can't meet them where they're at. You can't help to coach them in their roles. So make sure that you first and foremost, whether you're in person or you're dealing with a remote or hybrid team, that you make sure you spend time with them. Having team meetings, whether it's on the Teams or Zooms or whatever platform you use, or even once a year trying to see and converge with one another in person, going to do some kind of fun activities that you all vote on. You want to make sure that you keep that connection there because people are drawn not only to meaningful work and work that makes them feel like they're valued, but also that they're doing it with people that they care about and that that care for them. So making sure that you understand that connection will be key, grounding your team in that connection. And no matter your, whether you're in person or you're in a hybrid or remote work life is going to be that way. So how would you do that? Well, I would say the first thing is making sure that you include their voices in the process. Make sure that they have a say in what this workplace is like. Listen, I know it's not necessarily new. You've been maybe doing this for months or years now, but in the end, when they feel like their voices are heard in the process, like you're more inclusive in your leadership decision making, and you make sure that they feel like they have a say in what they are doing day to day, how they connect day to day, and the ways in which they connect, it makes it feel bought in. It's a, it's a team effort to create that sense of connection. It's not just your job, but you do have to provide the fertile soil to make sure that they feel like there is that connection there and that they have a voice in it. The other thing I would say it's important to do is to celebrate the small wins as well as the big wins. When there's small little things that are happening inside the lives, outside of work, but inside the lives of the people that are on your team and they know that you're noticing them and that you're recognizing those small wins pretty frequently, and then, of course, you're fostering a team that also recognizes one another. Now they're always feeling upbeat. They're always feeling like they're valued. They're always feeling like the work they do matters. Also, make sure that you're not just focusing on the things that are inside of work, but also the things that are outside. So if there are little things that are happening with their children, um, something with their family, something that's a personal goal like running a marathon or becoming a tennis player, recognize the small things there too, because they know that you value them, you care about them, not just for what they do for you from a job function perspective, but that you also care about them just for who they are as humans. And when they know that, they feel kind of enveloped by you and by the team. It feels a little bit more like home. There's a sense of comfort. And who wants to leave a place like that? I would say one of the most important things you do, and, is, and I want to make sure I, I talk about this a lot, but I, I cannot overstate the need for you to listen actively to those in your team or for you promote a culture of listening inside your team, showing them how to do it. And I, if you watch my videos, and please do subscribe so you can get all of the videos that you need to on listening effectively, leading this team by example, and building this amazing magnetic culture. But you want to make sure you understand what real listening is, that you seek to understand their perspective all the time, that you lean in to reflect on what it is, decode on what it is that they've said, and that you take action and you let them know what you've done. Listening is the most important gift we can give any other human being, giving them their, your undivided attention, your full presence when you're in team meetings. Turn off those Slack messages. Turn off the phone. Do what you have to do to make sure that they know you are fully present with 
them. This is a huge thing. And you're going to do this whether you're in person or you're going to do this whether you're behind a Teams meeting or a Zoom meeting on the, on the screen, right? Anywhere you're at, you want to do it. You're noticing that many of these things are aligned, whether you're in person, hybrid, remote. But there, obviously, you have to be super hyper, hyper vigilant if you can't just walk by their office to say hello. If you are having to dial in into the Zoom meeting, click join every single time, that is being intentional, isn't it? instead of just someone accidentally dropping by or someone just walking by casually or you seeing someone in the kitchen. In this case, intentionality is the number one thing you can do to make sure that those people feel supported and connected to you. So that's going to mean setting aside that time to drop in, to do drop-in meetings or those types of things, team meetings, fun happy hours that are virtual, coffee times, coffee talks. We're just talking about lots of different things. You being intentional, setting aside that time is going to be absolutely critical. So making them feel supported by doing things like being more inclusive in your decision making, listening to them, connecting to them, being intentional about leaning in are going to be all the things that you need to do. But understand whether you're in person or remote and or dealing in a hybrid situation, it is going to be all the small things that add up to the big things that make the people feel more of a connection to you. You can lead with care, make people feel cared for in your virtual or in-person presence. It all requires you to have a level of purpose and intentionality behind it. Have fun doing that. Stay on the journey with me. Don't forget to subscribe, like this, share this. That's how more people will make sure that they express care and concern for those who look to them for guidance in some way. And you can have a, a big impact in your own personal life by also sharing with other people. I hope to see you soon. Take care.